What's up, my fellow Hell Divers? Thank you for joining us on this new episode of the Salt Divers. Uh, it's like a news update. So actually, I put a poll out on YouTube, and you responded. So I said, what kind of videos do you want? News updates, build recommendations, gameplay highlights, or more podcasts? And it's like kind of almost like a, a split between news and updates, like this video right here, and more podcasts. So that's what we're going to do, because that's what you asked for. Uh, also, we hit our mile marker of 1,000 subscribers already, and that is incredible. Thank you guys so much. And to celebrate, we're going to be promoting this new shirt, Born to Liberate, which is actually inspired by a comment on one of our other videos. I saw that, and I was like, that is freaking genius. So now here's a shirt. Uh, also, on the next Tuesday podcast that comes out, uh, we are going to have details on how you can win this shirt. Uh, through just watching the video. Um, so there will be details for that. Make sure to check out the podcast on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be giving away one of these Born to Liberate t-shirts. I love it. I can't wait to get my own. It's going to be awesome. Uh, thank you, whoever made that comment in there and said, I'm Born to Liberate. And I was like, oh, that's a that's a full metal jacket reference. I got a freaking, yes, that's perfect. Uh, and we went and we got this shirt made for you guys. So check out the description below. If you'd like to just purchase it right now and you can't wait, go for it. If you want to wait until Tuesday for a chance to win it, Wait till Tuesday, and the details will be there. All right, let's talk about some news. So uh, everybody and their mother has covered the uh, CEO thing with Johan, where he's passed, ha passed that buck along to somebody he trusts, and now he is the creative officer, chief creative officer, so he gets to go back and do the things that he likes to do. Now, there's speculation whether or not that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I'm kind of leaning in the good thing uh, category. So I think we've all been kind of telling you know, Arrowhead, like, yo, dude, um, you guys got to hire more people because you need the support and able to handle the amount of people that are playing this game. You got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it fun. You got to balance things. You got to do patch updates and all this stuff. And it's obvious that the workload was just insane. I think their Discord is is over a million people strong now, which is absolutely insane. Um, so uh, I think this is a step in that, in that very direction. I think Johan's like, oh, okay, look, I need to be able to focus on my baby. I need to make my game. I need to make sure it's fun. He wants to make a fun game. That's his goal. He's said it on social media multiple times. He's like, look, I'm just here to make a game. So I think passing on the more executive decision stuff with, you know, dealing with board meetings and Sony and management and all that stuff, passing that off to somebody who's more suited for it while he can focus on the game that he loves and making it as best as it possibly can be. I think this is a fantastic move. Um, as long as we can trust the new guy, I don't know much about him. I know he's got a pretty good pedigree. His resume is pretty impressive. So I'm just hoping for the best on that. Uh, it's kind of up in the air. As long as they don't start aggressively doing some kind of crazy microtransaction nonsense like all these other live service games, uh, I think everything should be fine. Johan is still in control of the company. He's just taking on a different role, and he's passing off the things he doesn't want to do to somebody that he trusts. I'm all for it. Go for it, Johan. Have a great time. I'm looking forward to seeing the changes that are going to be coming through on the game side to make the game more fun and more playable and uh, to get the get the player base a little bit more enthusiastic, uh, which is what is a great segue into our next point here. Uh, we failed another major order. This is, uh, I think, four out of five major orders that we've failed so far over the last month or so, uh, which is not good. Uh, I think there's several different reasons for this, uh, but the foremost reason that I think I'm going to blame is just the player, the player base is dwindling down a little bit. Uh, we used to be 100,000 strong on PC playing this game. Now we're kind of fluctuating between forty to 60,000 players at any given time. Uh, obviously, the weekends are a little bit higher, and then during the work weeks, a little bit lower. Um, I think that has the majority of the reason why we've been failing these major orders. Now, what that means is I think Game Master Joel over here is going to have to make some changes and adjustments to what these major orders are going to entail to help accommodate the lowering player base. And I don't think it's a it's a bad thing. I think it's just the honeymoon phase is over. People are used to the game. They've they've seen what it has to give, and they're like, okay, cool. They I think the majority of people are still going back to it. I still play it daily. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I don't think that's going to go away anytime soon. I think we're just finally kind of settling down to where the normal amount of people that are going to be playing is probably going to be around that forty to sixty thousand mark on any given time. Um, so these major orders that are coming through are going to have to be adjusted for that new player base in order for us to be able to succeed at these things. It's just basic math. 
Uh, there's always going to be a group of people that just hang out on the bug side and not really care about the major order. And there's always going to be a group of people like me who just hang out shooting bots every day, all day. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out a new way of doing these major orders so that everybody kind of wins and that they're totally doable um, while still having that collaborative effort. Um, killing billions of, of, of bugs and bots and stuff like that, I, I don't think we're going to have any more of those for a long, long time. I think they're going to be a little bit more manageable. So that being said, the new major order is as follows. Major order. Surveillance has uncovered an automaton pedifactory. Its only purpose to mass produce heartless weapons of war. Liberate it, and we can convert it to produce an in mass the dual auto cannon EXO 49 Emancipator exosuit. Uh, this is phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to doing this. It's so manageable that it's actually like almost too easy. So easy that I feel like it might be some kind of a freaking trick. Uh, one planet, that's it. One planet liberated and we get an exosuit with auto cannons attached to it. Um, this has been kind of bouncing around. I've seen videos of this a couple of weeks back. Uh, I was like, oh, there's a new mech suit coming out. And I remember seeing it and be like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to have. So now that's finally coming to fruition. Uh, granted that we liberate this one planet. One single little tiny planet just has to liberate it. Uh, I think that's totally doable. And I think this is going to be maybe not the standard going forward, but I think this is going to be more in line with what the major orders will be from now on. It's not going to be these massive 10 planet defense campaigns and stuff like that with uh, with a dwindling or lower uh, player base. I think this is going to be like, hey, liberate this one planet. And hopefully this little carrot on a stick thing that they keep doing um, is going to work out because I think the other reason why we were failing major orders happened to be because there just wasn't really anything in it for us, like 50 medals. A lot of people are metal capped already. Like, hey, man, I bought everything in all the war bonds. Uh, I've got, I'm capped out on, on uh, requisition chips, and I don't need any more super credits because I purchased everything already, and uh, 50 medals is really no reason for me to go out there and fight. It's nothing. 50 medals is fine. I can, I can do a couple personal orders and make the same amount. So I think having a little bit better of a payoff for these major orders, especially the big ones, if it's going to be a huge major order, like let's make it like worth it. Um, I think that's what they're going to do moving forward. That's just my speculation. It's a, it's a smart move if you ask me. I would like to see one thing. And I've talked about this uh, maybe before on another episode, but these requisition chips, like we get thousands of them for every mission that we do, and I don't have anything to spend on them right now. Um, so unless they're going to roll out like a whole bunch of brand new orbitals and, and new ship upgrades that are going to cost us. Um, one thing that I'd really like to see is the ability to use requisition chips on each mission. Uh, say, hey, it's uh, 20,000 requisition chips and you can bring one extra orbital with you. Like how freaking rad would that be? I mean, I'm sitting on 50,000. I haven't touched my bank account. I make two to 3,000 requisition chips every time I go dive. Let me use some of that stuff, man. Uh, if I can just take an extra, or, you know, an extra orbital or an extra backpack or, you know, just something extra with me, but it costs me requisition ships, I think that's a completely awesome and fair trade. Um, I'm 100% down for that. So that's the new major order. And that's kind of the news with the CEO situation. That's our opinion on things. I've spoken with Matt. Um, he's pretty much on the same page as me as far as the CEO stuff goes, and he's going to be live streaming tonight. So make sure if you're watching this video and you like what you see and you like this channel, help support us, go check us out on the live stream end of things. If you have your time uh, set up, it is a late, like a late night live stream. Uh, we usually go from about 11 to like 1 AM, uh, which I know is a, is a weird time to live stream, but that's when it works for us. Uh, we are night owls. So that's it guys. Don't forget, grab your shirt. Born to Liberate, down below in the description, you can click that link and take you there. Uh, it's a great shirt. I'm really looking forward to it. And if you would like a chance to get it for free, make sure to check out the show on Tuesday. We will be having details there about how you can uh, put your name in the hat uh, to get a Born to Liberate t-shirt. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel. And uh, thank you for your incredible support with 1,000 subscribers already within like four to five weeks of this channel starting up. So this is absolutely phenomenal. Keep up the great work. I will see you on the front lines. Stay salty.